As you know, I've been single for about three years now. That is a long time, Clay. Yeah, I know. You, you don't have to remind me. Since being back from Brazil, I've been receiving messages from my grandma wanting to set me up with a bunch of different guys. And I honestly don't know if I am ready for that. And if you know me, you know just how much I am obsessed with rom-coms. Any and every rom-com that Netflix puts up, yep, Got it. So I thought, and I came up with this great idea, what if I use all these rom-coms to figure out the perfect guide, the step-by-step -step guide to finding my perfect guy. So I'm gonna be spending however long it takes to come up with this list, and I'm gonna bring you along so you can also be taking advantage of this as well to find your perfect guy. Let's go. All right, so I've been thinking and pondering about what the steps will be to creating this list of a perfect guy. Step one, make a list of the green flags from the guys that win at the end. Step number two, why did whatever guy didn't win not get the girl at the very end? Basically, what are his red flags? Step number three, what did the girls do wrong that I definitely don't wanna replicate when I'm going on dates? And step number four, we'll just do this after. Okay. Step number four, we're gonna be finding maybe some good date ideas. Maybe I'll rate the dates and figure out what's gonna be the best. All right, we have got everything. How do I work the TV? Now the real question is, what do I start with? Romance. Oh my gosh, okay, I think we've gotta start with some classics. You know what? I just saw this one. We're gonna start off with The Proposal. This one's gonna be good. Oh, it's gonna be them. It's gonna be those two. Oh my gosh. Is it gonna tell? Good guy. Good guy right there. This guy, gosh. I just think that Ryan Reynolds is himself is uh, the perfect guy. But sadly, he's married. But anyways, one thing I noticed, he was willing to sacrifice for her. I mean, even if that meant a fraud. But he went along with it. He was always on that same stride with her, and he was ready to sacrifice when she needed it. Good guy. Good guy. We don't have to talk about her. I think she's a perfect example of what not to do. I don't know. She's not my meal ticket, Dad. She's my fiance. <gasps> What'd you say? He said it up for her! Good guy, good guy right here. Second one, he is standing up for her. I mean, he's been standing up for her this entire time, but oh my gosh, now he's gonna propose. Let's see you kiss. Oh my gosh, they want them to kiss and they're not even together. Kiss her, kiss her. So now that we have finished those ones. I realized I didn't do any of the other steps. I kind of just focused on the first one. So we're gonna go to step number two. We gotta find out why the other guy, if there's another guy in the movie, why he didn't end up with the person or why any guy didn't end up with the girl. We're looking for some red flags. So. Some powers of observation. This one is so good. We're only at the beginning and I love it. Okay, can we just talk about her? She is literally just iconic. She's the perfect example of somebody being authentic. Okay, now don't get me wrong. Obviously, she does have attitude and she's got a little bit of uh, problems for maybe uh, doing that, but she's iconic and she is her and I strive to be like her. That helps us with step number three, actually. Iconic moments. And the sisters even came to watch. Who's intrigued? Y'all, literally, I have got so many notes going for her. This is some quality stuff. This is some, some quality information that I am getting. I mean, come on. Oh my gosh, but this one, this one fits perfectly in to number two because there are two different guys in the situation. We've got Cameron, I think is his name. And then we've got the greaser dude. Two guys and wait, iconic move. Iconic move right here. But him, he's 100% not gonna get the girl. Not at all. And we're gonna find out why. All right, but can we talk about this? Please tell me that there are like the certain types of guys and like you automatically can kind of connect it with a certain letter name. Go away, get out of here. Like the guy, the, the greaser dude, literally he looks like a Jesse or something like that, you know? Like the greaser, the slake back, kind of, I don't know what rude word to say, but you get what I'm saying? I want you to put in the comments for like the greaser style dudes, what initial best fits with them? I'm going for J. J is more for that uh, kind of guy, you know? Like Jesse from Gilmore Girls. And then like Cameron, Cam Cameron. 
It's more of the softy, more of the like kind of nerdy in the background types of guys. Please tell me it's not just me. I need you to comment that. Boo! See? See what I mean? He's not even interested in her, y'all. Cringy. So now we know what not to do. Now we know why the guys don't end up with the girl at the end. Kind of obvious. So cute. That is goals. Y'all, literally, I want a guy that will just help me and just love me like this. Another green flag. We got another green flag. Stop, I want it. Oh, he's so good. He's so good. Boo! We don't like him. Yeah! Go for it. You got this, dude. Good one always wins. The good one always wins. Just because you're beautiful, that doesn't mean that you can treat people like they don't matter. There you go, dude. That is, that is, I mean, yes. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yes! Iconic moment right here. If a guy isn't willing enough to do something That's like this you? for me, I don't want it. Look at that! Got the entire band! Look at that guy! Look at her! her. Look at him! Amen. This guy has just brought himself all the way up to the top. The top tier. He is our number one now. Ryan Reynolds, I'm sorry. Heath Ledger, yes please! Iconic! See? This is what I'm talking about. This is literally what I'm talking about. They're slowly starting to connect with each other. It's so cute! Risked it all for a girl. I know, right? A thousand freaking bucks for a girl that, like, doesn't even like you. There's another one. There's another green flag. <laughs> it's so weird. He's so embarrassing. All right, so it's currently very late. It's 11.56, so not that late, but for me it's very late. I mean, you can probably tell. This camera is doing me all sorts of wonders because it is smoothing out my face. That is exactly what you would be seeing. I'm just so tired. But I'm not giving up. I have to continue. I have to focus. We are in this to figure out this perfect guy. I'm doing it for the team. All right, guys. I have to whisper because Raquel's still sleeping over there. Okay, I'm sorry, but I adore this movie. Like, I've seen it five times at least in the last two months. And we're watching it again just because You can literally tell just by my face how much I love this. I'm literally like, oh. I love this part. <laughs> can we just talk about the fact that they like emphasize that he like is emotional and he cries? Literally green flag, green flag. It's okay that guys cry, dude. Like, Honestly, I think it's actually pretty good because they have emotion. Doesn't matter if you're a guy or a girl. You got emotions. If you have a heart, there's emotion in there. Anyways, there's my rant to you. <laughs> I love that. He's like so, like, but he honestly looks so great as this little lumpy blimp. Love this dude. Love this dude so much. Gosh, I just love, I love the fact that they like have these conversations. Have conversations. Get to know each other. If you want this to work, to be like a partnership, you gotta communicate. We're adding that to the list. I think we could count this as like a great date, something that's like super sentimental. Like something that really means something to the other person. Like for me, I would love a date where we just sit and watch Disney movies. Okay, I think this one will always be one of my favorites. Literally so good. It's got such a great story to it. Now we're gonna find another one. I've heard from everyone that I have to watch this. It's 500 Days of Summer. That's interesting, this isn't technically a love story. But they told me it was a rom-com, like rom-drama. I'm getting tired, but this is actually really good. I don't really understand, because they said it's all a love story, but yeah, no, we're getting to the romance. Yeah, they guessed. Yeah, they were right when they said this wasn't exactly a love story. It is, but it isn't. They're like just friends with benefits. I'm like, when's the like good relationship stuff gonna come on? I mean, this girl's definitely showing us what 
not to do. Because, I mean, it kind of seems like she's just got a little bit of like, attachment issues or commitment issues. Hashtag me, literally, right now. I have a very hard time, like, actually making a commitment. But this is helping me. All of these are helping me, so I'm excited for the end. I really started to fall asleep last night, so I had to pause it, and now I'm continuing to watch it. I was trying, guys, I was trying, but we're back. He's lonely, and he's depressed. <laughs> I mean, I guess this shows us what not to do. Don't go into a press meeting depressed and then talk about your feelings. <laughs> that, I think, is toxic. I think she's toxic. That helps us answer number three, what a girl not should not do or be. Her. <laughs> I don't think I really like her. But he's also not that stable either, so. Look at this lone, lonely man. Sad. He found somebody new. I have no idea what you just talking about. Wait, what movie? 500 Days of Summer. Awesome. I hate that one. I now understand why they said it's not a love story in the very beginning. This is not a love story. I was like, it's about a guy and a girl. How is this not about a love story? It's about toxicity and terribleness. But hey, we figured out step two and step three, specifically step three, what the girl did wrong. So I'm not really sure what just happened there. I think my camera may have actually just died. But good news, I think with all of the different videos and movies that we watched, I've got a pretty good guideline for what our perfect guy looks like. We've got all of the green flags. We've got all the red flags, what a girl should and should not do, and some good date ideas. So I think I'm gonna take that. I think we can move forward with confidence that I can probably go on this date that my grandma has been trying to set me up with. But anyways, let me know what would you add for green flags, red flags, what to and not to do as a girl, and some good date ideas. Because I think that this is gonna be an ongoing process and I'm gonna continue to need some, some help from you. So please comment and let me know. Bye! I hope you enjoyed and YouTube actually has a great other video for you to watch so go and check it out and I'll see you there